Today is November 19th, Friday. Um, a few weeks back, my psychiatrist, Dr. Patel of Community Mental Health in Ontonagon, Michigan, changed my deliveries. I am getting pills by the week instead of having somebody come to my front door, pounding at it at 8 in the morning or 10 in the morning or 2 in the afternoon or whenever they decide to show up. Um, which was very erratic in the weeks leading up to me getting weekly deliveries. I am very grateful to be giving myself these meta, this uh, brain disabling psychotropic neurotoxins is what I'm calling these and I'm calling them online that. And if you're following me online, use the hashtag brain disabling psychotropic neurotoxins. That's what these are. It doesn't matter what kind they are. If they came from a psychiatrist for your brain and your body for any mental uh, mental label that you may be carrying on your record, um, these are brain disabling psychotropic neurotoxins. All of them are. They disable the brain. So I'm supposed to take my Friday pills today. This is a thousand milligrams of Depakote. And I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet because I just am a very busy person. AN757. I think by law it should say Depakote 1000 milligrams. If you're putting a stamp on it, put on there what it really is so that people who find these drugs in other people's houses don't just take them and overdose on them or end up Lulu or whatever. Um, and when we dispose of them, then we can just dispose of them properly instead of throwing them in the garbage, not knowing what the hell we're putting in the water systems. I live by Lake Superior. I am very worried about our water systems. Um, obviously, Lake Superior is the freshest water lake. Lake, freshest the largest freshwater lake on planet Earth. And um, I protect because I live here. I'm from here. I'm from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And uh, it's uh, five blocks from here and it's the most beautiful thing in the world. And I want to help to clean it. This is not good. This is messing up the fish. This is messing up the humans, the, the fetuses, the everything. The life on our planet is full of brain-disabling psychotropic neurotoxins. Okay, so let's work together to try to find more humane ways to heal people who are having emotional crises or spiritual emergencies or awakening of kundalini energy or whatever we want to call it, but it is not anything that we made up from the 1950s on as far as the pharmaceutical science laboratories, psycho psychology and psychiatrists, these words, um, these labels we've given people, these things need to be discussed amongst the people who are using these. We need to have an open conversation, an open dialogue between people who are using these drugs and people who are giving these drugs to us. And that's what I'm working on. I'm working on building a Facebook page called CSX Movement. CSX Movement is call, um, stands for Consumers, Survivors, and Ex-Patients of Psychiatry. Um, pretty much that's everyone that is a human being on earth who has ever taken an Advil. That means you're a consumer of psychiatry, um, which pretty much is most adults. And many children are being put on um, Ritalin and other brain disabling psychotropic neurotoxins at the ages of five, three. Um, I've heard babies even lately, it's crazy. And this is not healthy in any way. I believe in Peter Gooch from the Nordic collaboration, uh, Cochrane collaboration. He started that, uh, it's a 
<sighs> point of contention, but anyway... He believes that 97% of these psychotropic drugs could be discontinued, should be discontinued. Uh, we can use 3% of them for emergency cases to help people in the short term. And I agree with him. Um, the long term, we cannot lo no longer be poisoning ourselves and this earth with these pharmaceutical um, psychotropic brain disabling neurotoxins. I know it's long. It took me a long time. Um, it's four words. If you can learn them, start using them on the internet and let's create a conversation about these things. We need something. We can't just take the drugs off the market and expect people to be okay. We don't want that to happen. You have to taper very slowly and carefully off of these medications, um, which I don't want to call medications because they are brain disabling psychotropic neurotoxins. Neurotoxin means poison, so I call them poisons, but the court of law does not like that. Um, they want me to call them medications. No, I say as psychiatric survivors, we need to take control of the language. We need to say, um, we need to call a spade a spade and no more of this messing around. We need to learn a few terms, start using them, not be afraid to come out of the closet. Everybody's on drugs, don't feel alone. Um, I know I'm kind of different where I'll tell you exactly what I'm taking because I need, I want everybody to know because I'm going to drop dead here within how well, I have hashtag 25 years off my life. So a lot of people are going to see me die and I want to, I want them to see how, um, because I don't want anybody else to die the way that I'm going to die, which is going to be horrible. It's going to be because, be because of these brain disabling psychotropic neurotoxins. Not because I have bipolar. Bipolar doesn't exist. I studied the 1950s. I went to the University of Michigan. I studied gender roles. Um, I studied population. I studied mythology. I studied uh, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I also did my own research into the realm of the mind. And I have been abused in the last six years by the state of Michigan the federal government, and psychiatry. My name is Jill Susan Kesty. Please join us on Coalition to End Forced Psychiatric Drugging. Um, don't stop taking your pills. You got to work with your psychiatrist and um, hopefully we will all work together to come up with better plans for the future to get everyone off of these drugs as much as possible. Thank you for listening.